It's another Blues Day Tuesday. We had a lot of great releases that came out this week. Uh, we'll talk about what showed up, what didn't show up, and uh, I'll show you what I did pick up. And uh, we'll talk about everything that comes out next week when I see you next Tuesday. Bolt your doors. Lock your windows. It's not the boogeyman. It's Side Hustle Cinema. Welcome back to the channel. Side Hustle Cinema here. I said last week that I thought we'd be having some issues with uh, the Scream. I, th I thought maybe it would just be uh, the Steelbook that we would be having some issues with it not showing up but it looks like it's um all the versions of scream they're saying online that maybe we'll get them um like the first week in in november but i haven't really heard anything official as of me recording this video so no scream for halloween <laughs> that sucks there honestly wasn't a lot of pre-orders that, you know, I, I wanted to talk about today. I mean, we did get official word that, you know, Halloween Kills would be coming to 4K. James Bond No Time to Die would be coming to 4K. But we knew those things were going to happen, you know. So that's that's not really a, an announcement. Last week we talked about Malignant coming out, not getting a 4K treatment. That was a bit of a surprise and a letdown. A Hard Day's Night is going to get released on January 18th from Criterion. Uh, that's one that I would like to uh, check out in 4K. I've always been kind of a Beatles fan, and I think that one would sound really nice. Look really nice. And there were some rumors about, you know, a couple of, uh, a few Christmas movies coming to 4K. Uh, sometime next year, probably in the second half of next year. And those were Polar Express. Elf and a Christmas Story, but I remember we were weren't we supposed to get Home Alone 2 sometime this year on 4K? weren't they supposed to be working on that? That rumor didn't come true. <laughs> so um, yeah, I don't know these these would be fine, but that's a long time to wait. And since I wouldn't even watch them until next year, you know around November December I mean you're waiting a whole year so nothing really worth talking about there uh, there was a couple deals that you know were worth mentioning uh, one that I picked up uh, should be in some time today and that was the uh, the Jack Ryan collection it's a five movie collection uh, on 4k and it was only $35 I mean that's a great deal I mean you're talking about seven dollars a piece for 4Ks, you know, I mean, you can't beat that, and they're all actually pretty good movies. So uh, I think that's that's a great deal. That that one's still going on. If anyone wants to take advantage of it and pick that up, the pre-order for that Karate Kid set uh, is only 49.99, and that that seems like a good deal too. Target has it uh, pre-ordered for 55 dollars. So I don't think it's going to go any lower than this 49. So it's time if you want it to go ahead and pre-order it. Arrow Video uh, is having a sale right now. So if you want to go over to Arrow's website, uh, they're doing their their sale for October, and uh, a lot of their titles are only $15. I mean that that's a really good deal, you know, for especially for Arrow. And uh, yeah, so if you need to pick up some Arrow, go over and check them out. Now last week we took a deep dive into everything that was coming out today. So we'll just hit on some of the highlights. But again, just like last week, there was a lot of highlights. <laughs> well I know Scream was probably everyone's, probably everyone's number one this week. You know, everyone was looking forward to that. Halloween just around the corner. I myself had been holding off watching Scream uh, for the past like two or three months. And I've been really wanting to watch it. It's been on TV a few times. Uh, I've I've seen some of the sequels on like AMC and stuff, and it's just made me want to go back and watch the original. But I was holding out for that 4K. Well, I didn't think we'd be getting it uh, this week, just for whatever reason. I just I had a feeling that it was going to be oversold, 
and that there would be some delays they wouldn't have enough uh, product you know for everyone right away and so I was hopeful that I would get mine I ordered mine on August 12th so that that's that's a that's a long you know that's a long time ago not even an email as to the availability of when we'll get it I'm hearing online uh, that some people are saying that we're supposed to get it around you know the first part of, of November nothing you can do about it you know you just it is what it is we'll all get it when we get it also coming out this week we had old uh, on 4k this one has a uh, Best Buy exclusive steelbook and the standard slipcover and of course the you know the blu-ray and I'm gonna be picking up this movie as well I'm just gonna go with the standard slip on this one the steelbook really didn't impress me that much so I'm just passing on the steelbook snake eyes came out this week I'm actually looking forward to I'm probably gonna rent this one I, I, I don't think I'm gonna own it you know I've heard mixed reviews on it and it's something I do want to see I just don't think I want to own it at least not right now uh, if I rent it and watch it and like it then I'll, I'll pick it up when it's on sale uh, the still book does look really nice so I don't blame anyone for going out and getting that still book silence of the lambs comes out on 4k uh, this is another one that I'll probably eventually pick up uh, I didn't have it pre-ordered right now and the prices I think it's already down to like twenty two dollars so it's at a pretty good price already um, I don't own it on Criterion you know a lot of people have the Criterion of it and so this will be a nice um, a little test this week you know people comparing the 4k transfer from Kino Lorber against that Criterion transfer even though it's just a blu-ray we also had the protege come out on 4k uh, Injustice is one, you know, an animated uh, DC flick that I know a lot of people are excited about. Uh, Demons, this one uh, is one that I also picked up. Um, I had it pre-ordered even at that that eighty dollar price tag, and I was so glad that that they ended up dropping it at the end to uh, only fifty three dollars and change. I did check around not a lot of people have these available so you need to try to hurry and pick these up I think they're gonna sell out pretty quickly I think the only thing that was holding it back from selling out already was people were worried they weren't gonna get that price drop I think but at fifty dollars yeah these things are gonna be gone so hopefully you can still get in there and get yours and finally we got some of those retro uh, VHS blu-rays you know from Mill Creek uh, those are always fun and they're so cheap that you know if you would rent them you might as well buy them you know at $8.99 you get that cool you know retro VHS slip cover and uh, the movies are pretty good I mean you got uh, splitting airs with um, Rick Moranis in it you know nice comedy there you know fish out of water mistaken identity kind of comedy then you got Renegades, um, you know, 80s action flick with Lou Diamond Phillips and Kiefer Sutherland, Casual Sex, and then you have uh, Cole the Conqueror. Don't know much about that one. And Joe Bell also comes out on uh, on Blu-ray. That one, that one was in theaters, so I guess it's worth mentioning. So I'd like to hear in the comments what you guys picked up. Did you run into any uh, delays in your shipping other than Scream, of course. So of these movies, I guess what I ended up picking up was uh, I picked up Scream, eventually. Demons 1 and 2 should get that box set next week. And I haven't picked them up yet, but I'll definitely be getting uh, old on 4K. And I, I think I'm at least going to get the Splitting Airs. Uh, might get Renegades as well. And I ordered a few things last week that, uh, you know, didn't come in before the re recording of the video. So I'll show you what I picked up last week. There's only two things. Uh, the first one was Deadly Friend. I uh, got this one from Scream Factory. I got the poster as well. I actually did a review of this one. Um, I'll leave a 
card up above here if you want to go watch my review on this one and get my thoughts on that and I also picked up the um, the Columbia Classics Volume 2 um, of course you guys have all seen a thousand unboxings of these probably but amazing box set really really nice uh, looks better in person uh, I missed out on that first one you know I just the first one really didn't have a lot of movies um, that I was interested in that was the main thing uh, if I would have known how much in value it would have went I would have just picked it up for investment purposes but um, honestly in that first set really only a league of their own was all I was interested in uh, in this set um, Stripes was the big one for me actually uh, I love you know Bill Murray I, I love the 80's comedies and uh, so Stripes was was a big one for me because I don't think we're we're gonna get it individual I don't think so and so you know that I, I wanted to pick it up mostly for that one uh, I do enjoy social network and getting it on 4k is is nice it's not necessarily a movie that you know you think of 4k when you you know think of social network and then of course taxi driver that one that one's a big one I think you know uh, to get in 4k uh, looking forward to uh, re-watching that one in 4k it's been a long time since I've seen taxi driver so I'm, I'm looking forward to that and you know I'll probably get around to watching the others uh, in the set eventually but I'm not too big on the rest of those movies but if you can get three of them that you really want then I think it's definitely worth picking up alright and because here at Side Hustle Cinema we are a forward-thinking channel and now we're gonna jump ahead one week take a look at everything that's coming out on October 26th when I see you next Tuesday well right away I see that the biggest release of the week more than likely is going to be the Suicide Squad uh, everyone seemed to really like that one you know when it was in theaters and of course this movie got the the multi format treatment on this one you know you're getting uh, the blu-ray you're getting uh, the 4k standard slip edition you're getting a target exclusive and you're also getting that Best Buy exclusive still book also next week we're getting the underworld 5 movie collection on 4k and the price on this one has just went down and down and down so now it's even if you don't care for the movies that much maybe you haven't seen all of them it's at a price now like at, at sixty dollars where you know you're you're paying what like twelve dollars for a, a a 4k and you're getting this really nice collector's box this one's a no-brainer yeah you need this one in your life you need to pick this one up I happen to love these movies this is the one I, I'm probably most excited for this week and uh, yeah I can't wait to get this one had it pre-ordered for a while Warner Brothers is releasing the Superman complete animated series uh, this one covers uh, 1996 through 2000 three seasons of uh, the Superman animated show and that looks really nice and you're getting it on blu-ray Universal Studios is putting out Stillwater on blu-ray Sony Pictures is putting out Don't Breathe 2 and this one's getting a um, uh, 4K slipcover edition and the standard Blu-ray edition. Shout Factory is putting out nothing but trouble on Blu-ray. I'm definitely picking this one up. Lionsgate is putting out On the Rocks on Blu-ray. Lionsgate Films, you know, a Vestron video release of Still Dawn is coming on Blu-ray next week. Of course, those are the fun, you know, collectors series from Vestron that are all numbered so you kind of want to get them just because of the number I'm familiar with Still Dawn it's not a great movie most likely I don't think it'll hold up that well I haven't seen it in years but it really wasn't that good back in the day so I don't know <laughs> uh, 
I'll, I might pick it up and give it a rewatch because it is so cheap. It's only like twelve, you know, twelve ninety six. Bar of expectations is it's a little low on this one. Maybe it'll surprise me. I don't know. Uh, the Warner Archive Collection is bringing us uh, Children of the Damned on Blu-ray. Love this cover. Arrow is bringing us Deep Red 4K Edition. And it also comes with an exclusive uh, packaging as well. And we're also getting uh, from Universal Studios The Incredible Hulk. The complete series on Blu-ray. And we have another Shout Factory title coming out next week. Killer Party on Blu-ray. Paramount Pictures is putting out The Twilight Zone, the complete series. And you're getting uh, five seasons uh, between 1959 and 1964. Severn Films is giving us Blood for Dracula, and it's getting a 4K. Criterion is putting out Devi on Blu-ray. Lionsgate Films is putting out Megan is Missing on Blu-ray. Paramount Pictures is, is releasing Charm the Complete 7th Season on Blu-ray. Kino Lorber is going to be putting out uh, Hot Saturday, The Pursuit of D.B. Cooper, The Devil and the Deep, The Cheat, Torch Singer, and Gamora Season 1 all on Blu-ray. They're also putting out for Love or Money, and that's a Michael J. Fox um, romantic comedy, and uh, it's a really great one. Everyone should check that one out. The BBC is putting out Serengeti on Blu-ray. Paramount Pictures is putting out uh, Star Trek, the complete original series, and that's coming out on both uh, Blu-ray or Steelbook Edition. Lionsgate Films is putting out Warning on Blu-ray. Vinegar Syndrome is putting out Ticks on 4K. They're also putting out The Laughing Dead, Shattered Dead, Nothing Underneath, Too Beautiful to Die, and Camille Keaton in Italy, all on Blu-ray. We're also going to be getting uh, Summer of 84, and that's on uh, 4K. And there's also a Vinegar Syndrome exclusive. Uh, packaging that's available on that one as well. And finally, Lionsgate Films is bringing us 31. It's uh, going to be a Target exclusive still book. This one looks really nice. Uh, it's priced at only $20 and it's definitely one worth getting. This is another one of those awesome still books with those clear slip covers. On Blu-ray.com they still have uh, from Dust Till Dawn listed is coming out this week but I didn't include it because I don't think it's coming out um, haven't heard you know there's no, been no uh, official pre-order place where you can actually order it uh, the artwork was still you know the old artwork they hadn't released you know the official artwork yet uh, it got announced you know, it was announced officially, but then nothing ever happened. So I don't know when From Dust Till Dawn will actually be coming out, but it's not going to be next week, unfortunately. That would actually probably would have been my number one next week if it were actually coming out, but I don't think it is. So, so that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And leave a comment telling me, you know, about what all you picked up, what you're looking forward to for next week. And as always, stay safe, have fun, keep watching those movies, and I'll see you next Tuesday.